What's up guys? So I wasn't even planning on filming today but my mom came into my room telling me to open my window and look outside. So I did and I was very surprised at what I found. So you guys, I got some freaking ducks in my pool. Don't know how that happened. Um, don't know how they found our pool, but here they are just enjoying the freaking pool, bathing themselves. This one right here, this one right there, just took a crap on the rim of the pool, so that was nice. Um, I don't know, where the hell did they come from? No idea! Legit, look at these guys, like, what is happening? I have two ducks in my pool. They are swimming in my pool. Panther is... He's just as shocked as I am. Well, right now, it looks like he just wants to attack the hell out of them, but... Yeah, guys, what the frick? What are two ducks doing in my home? Well, not even in my home, but in my pool. I don't understand. Where did they even come from? I don't know, but I just really had to show you guys that because I I don't know. I didn't expect to see ducks in my pool. And then my mom comes into my room and she's like, open your window. Like, just open your window, look outside. And I'm like, well, hello to you too. All right. And then I see ducks. I mean, I heard something. I heard some flying, but didn't expect it to be ducks, you know? So, I don't know. Panther. Ma, are you really feeding these? <laughs> My mom for real came outside to feed the damn ducks. What? No, oh, well, they're too busy in the pool. They don't even notice. Mom, one of them took a crap on the side of the pool. <laughs> oh, okay, bye. Hope you had a blast in this pool. Jesus Christ, they're gone, Panthers. You can relax now. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Alrighty then. Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, sorry if I look and sound like I am out of breath. It's because, hold on, let me take off this retainer. What am I doing? Mm, okay, now we're good. Um, so I just finished um, doing my morning workout and uh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm very, very dead right now. Um, I decided to add a little workout sesh for myself in the mornings because if I don't, then my body is going to be whack and that's not the look I'm going for. I'm just kidding. Um, the workout sesh isn't even much. Honestly, the things I'm focusing on are my abs and my booty, of course. Um, just trying to get my body going a little bit during this little lockdown sesh. Um, don't know how long we're gonna be on lockdown and so I thought to myself, while I'm on lockdown, besides just sitting on my ass, watching shows on Netflix, I'm currently, you know, binging Empire. Never seen it before, so I've been watching it every single day. Go through like, what, like a few episodes a day. Um, obviously with like some in-between breaks, but still, you know, I don't want to just be sitting on my ass. I want to actually like do something for myself while this lockdown is here and it was kind of dumb i waited till now to start doing this i could have done this a long time ago and there would have been some progress but you know what it's okay it's okay <sighs> man i'm out of breath but yeah anyway um so i'm just focusing on my abs and my booty um and they are both killing me because i start with the abs and then i jump right into the stuff for my butt so it's like Little mini mini breaks, like 10 second breaks I want to say, that are in between. Or will that I give myself because I can't put myself through it all like that. Ain't an expert in that, so add a little break for myself, get my energy back, and then I get back to it. But yeah, so um, just a little update how this morning is going. Um, I am going to go shower and get this energy back, so I'll see you guys after that. Okay, 
I'm showered now. Uh, let's actually get some light in here. Even though we don't really have much, we'll take what we can get. That's better. <laughs> um, so now that I am a little more awake and energized, um, I gotta go ahead and get ready because we're gonna take Panther to his doctor's appointment. And I thought it was at noon, but I guess it was at three. Because I texted Debbie last night to remind her while she was at work that today was his doctor's appointment. And she responded back and said it was at 3. So I was like, did I not hear correctly? I don't know. I could have sworn that I heard noon, but I guess it's 3. Or she might have changed it because she had to work last night. And she wasn't going to be energized enough to go to his noon doctor's appointment. I don't know. I really don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and get ready, so. Alrighty, so I actually, it's been a while that I've had you guys on this side, um, because I haven't really done any, like, get ready with me's lately, um, but hello again. So, y'all already pretty much know the dealio. Just gonna do some eyeliner and mascara. I don't really care to do the rest of the stuff, especially today, or well, especially because we're on lockdown, like, there's no point in doing that, so I don't do it. So just simple eyeliner and mascara. It is the usual, the preferred, we'll say. So I have been, oh, what do I have here? Anyways, what was I going to say? Oh, so I have actually been putting my bangs to the side because they're growing out and uh, they're also not functioning too well. So that's a little change going back to the norm not gonna try to cut my own bangs because i've seen that happen to some people and it just goes horribly wrong so i'm not gonna do that to myself because i have no idea what i'd be doing to myself so yeah not gonna happen i'm just gonna let them grow out i guess i guess that's the only option i have hopefully this lockdown finishes soon though so i can get them cut again because i actually really like my bangs so anyways, I'm gonna do my eyeliner, so there's that. It is so weird looking at myself with eyeliner on because I haven't been putting it on these last few days that I've been on lockdown. I just haven't put anything on because I felt like there's no point. I don't see, I, I don't know. There's no point for me to waste my eyeliner when I'm gonna be stuck at home. I don't know, but whatever. And that's already a different way. God damn it. We're just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. But I am gonna fix this extra one right here. Cause we only do, uh, not bad, god, duh. Now I gotta fix this wing. Well, that worked. But I <laughs> just made that worse, Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, that's it, that's it. I'm gonna, we're good. They don't have to be similar, right? They're not twins, guys. They're sisters, okay? Okay, we won't touch it. That's it. That's that's the wing. Y'all see the wing? That's the wing. My left is my better one. So, there's that. Alrighty, guys. So, I actually changed my mind and went ahead and did my bangs today. Um, they're obviously not the best, but they'll do. Um, don't really like that they're kind of mixed here in the middle, but what can I do? They're doing their own thing now. Um, anyways, besides that. So, something new is kind of happening with me. I am actually going to work on getting my tax ID, or oh, my license to do taxes with my dad. Because growing up, my dad would do, you know, taxes. He had his license and all that. He got a lot of clients and followers. So when his license expired, you know, his clients didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. Um, clients kept coming at him and telling them if he can do their taxes. And my dad would tell them, like, I can't. Like, my license is done, you know. I can't really do anything anymore until I get my license and his followers were pretty much like shocked and they were begging him to do their taxes because they really liked how my dad did them and how my dad was so like detailed and so very helpful. Um, so anyway, growing up we would go with my dad to do his clients taxes. Um, and you know recently my dad has been teaching us like to do our taxes and I did mine last year and I did them this year so 
Um, he thought it'd be a good idea that, you know, I'd go ahead and get my license for taxes so I can kind of do that for myself and give myself a little, like, business on the side or something like that. And I was actually very interested in doing taxes with my dad, so I pretty much thought to myself, why not? You know, why not try it out? This could be, like, a new skill for me. Like, this is gonna be, like, a whole new world to join. So, yeah. Your girl is going to work on getting her license for taxes and I'm pretty excited but also pretty nervous because my biggest worry about it is that I won't catch on too quickly like I used to. Just like with this whole thing with anxiety, it all goes back to anxiety for me guys because anxiety did change me as a person completely. Before, you know, anxiety hit me, I was very like outgoing, I was very like so determined to do things and didn't worry about anything and now that it finally hit me it has changed me a lot and most importantly it's changed me when it comes to like trying new things because I have become a very like forgetful person and somebody who doesn't really remember things like that it takes me a while to remember certain things and even when it's supposed to be important I still tend to forget it and so that's kind of like my biggest worry right now is that I'm gonna have to keep going going over and over with this program and I'm gonna have to be writing a lot of stuff down and I might not even remember the stuff that I'm writing down when I'm supposed to remember it so it's just a lot going on in here and a lot that makes me think but aside from all that I know that I do want to do this I want to get my license for taxes and just want to open up to this whole new world start this new journey for me yeah I don't I don't know Exactly, like I'm really trying not to think about the negative on my part, you know, I'm trying to think about the positive about this and that, you know, it will work out for me and I will create like a little business for myself, um, that sort of deal. It's just, you know, it's just an, an opportunity that came my way and, you know, I'm accepting it. Why not, you know? Why not try something new, something different, and uh, learn something new, actually, because when I was doing taxes with my dad, it was never like I knew what I was doing. It was more like I was there, I would do their taxes, and my dad would be behind me, and he would tell me what is happening, what is what, what goes where, that sort of deal. And luckily, doing taxes isn't even hard, because it's like you're pretty much filling in the blanks of what it's asking for and you have the form with you so you just fill in everything you just got to make sure that it's filled in right um but yeah enough babbling but yes bottom line is your girl is working to get her license for taxes and i'm very excited and yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys um so my dad got this program for us both of us so we can both study together and train together you know um i'm obviously gonna need his help trying to understand the vocabulary for taxes and you know the whole backstory and things like that so i'm pretty excited you know to do this with my dad something new something cool and i'm ready <laughs> okay guys so it's been a little while um i got through the introduction i was gonna say introductory i got through the introduction and uh, let me just say, I barely got through it. Um, but do I remember what I just read? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> but I will say my eyes hurt from reading that little section. And my mind, my brain is just everywhere. Can't even function right now. My brain is just like, what did you do to me? Why were you reading? What is this nonsense? Because I don't read, guys. I don't read for the reason that... I can't remember what I read. I don't understand. Well, it's not really I don't understand. It's more like I can't read. I just can't get into the focus of it. That's why I prefer movies. But uh, in this time, I can't watch a freaking movie about it. So that sucks. But yeah, so I was going to start lesson one, but Debbie is awake and she's getting ready. It's already 2.11. His appointment is at 3.00. So I figured why start lesson one when I have a little bit of time to do so. Um, when I can just do it later when I am in full focus and I am unbothered and you know that sort of deal. So didn't do lesson one. Gonna take a quick break already. Probably do that with my dad later on when he gets home. Um, so yeah. 
but I went ahead and put on a sweater because it was freaking cold as balls. I left my window open um, after I worked out this morning and completely forgot that it was open. So I randomly got cold and then I remembered, oh, because my window is open. So it's closed now, um, but I'm cold. At least I got a sweater. So anyways, I'm going to show you all the outfit for today. So got the burgundy top from walmart got my levi's these ones are actually very comfortable um don't mind the slippers i'm not taking the slippers obviously i'm gonna be wearing my shoes and then to top it i got my suavecita sweater so we're good for a doctor visit speaking of doctor visits i have one coming up next month and can't even go to my doctor's appointment because they said that we can't do that so instead they changed it to a FaceTime sort of doctor appointment, I guess. And I'm very nervous about that because I don't want to FaceTime my doctor. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know, I'm just very weird about stuff like that. Don't come at me, okay? Alrighty, so let's put this up a little bit here. But we are at the animal clinic. Um, Debbie was actually only able to go inside with Panther um, because they're limiting it, I guess, to like one person with the pet, um, which obviously makes sense considering, you know, the whole coronavirus deal. Um, so I'm in the car. I've actually been in the car for like half an hour now. Um, just listening to music, making a playlist of some of my favorite songs, some songs that have been on repeat, that sort of deal. But I'm hungry, guys. I'm very, very hungry right now. And Debbie texted me, what, like 10 minutes ago, maybe? 15 the most? Um, that they took Panther in to get checked. And um, it probably won't be that long of a visit because he actually hasn't peed since we, you know, set up the appointment. A few days ago he seems okay so I don't know the only thing we're concerned about is there was one night where he had well he was kind of like bleeding from his bottom and it was weird because it was like a quick thing how I noticed it was he was sitting on the floor and when he got up he left a stain on the floor so I was like are you bleeding so I checked him and yes, he was bleeding, but then after that night, he wasn't bleeding anymore. So I don't know what that was about. Um, so I think Debbie's gonna let them know about that and see what they say about that. But um, other than that, that's the update for now. I'm hungry, like I said. <laughs> uh, don't know what I wanna eat though. Don't know what Debbie wants to eat. So maybe when she gets back, I'll see what she wants to take home <laughs> that's the update for now guys but just to show y'all this is what i'm currently listening to got miss billy eilish on spotify right now so i'm having a good time guys Alrighty, update number two it is now 405 um and we're pretty much almost done here i'll take the seatbelt off i've been in here forever um yeah, so Debbie's pretty much done in the animal clinic. Um, she just told me that they took a urine test, blood from him, and um, he's pretty much clear to take his uh, neuter surgery tomorrow. We have to be back here at 7.30 in the morning. 7.30. <sighs> That's going to be something because lately I've been waking up at 11 p.m. So, great. But um, we also got to bring a sample of his um, bathroom work <laughs> uh, back here. If we're able to do it today, then today. Um, but if not, then tomorrow when we come in. Um, they just need a sample of that so they can check on that. So that's all that I got right now. Um, after Debbie comes out, I think we're going to go get some food. I think we decided on Olive Garden, but I'm not too sure yet because... Everyone was okay with it, but my mom didn't really say she was okay with it. She didn't really say she was hungry, so don't know how that's going to go. So once Debbie is done, when she gets back, I think we're going to go ahead and get some Olive Garden to take home. That's what we decided on. So, yeah. And uh, the great thing about all of this is that my phone is at 1%. 
uh, let me show you guys is at one percent because I've been using my music to pass the time I finished my phone's battery so that's great um, making this last percent last until I get home so I can charge it but yeah so that's the update that's about it guys I'm just waiting now so yeah <laughs> all right guys it is the next day as you can obviously tell because there's no more eyeliner and i look like i'm dead um we're back at the clinic for panther surgery debbie just went in right now she has to fill out some paperwork um we had to be here at 7 30 on the dot which we are actually it's barely 7 30 right now we got here like a couple minutes ago thank goodness um but debbie has to fill out some paperwork and then once she is done with that and they take him in we actually have to go back home because we forgot his um stool sample so we got to go back get that so we can bring it back in here so they can go ahead check it out see what's up with it why his bottom was bleeding that whole deal but yeah so i made me a freaking iced coffee because i had to wake up early and i don't do early anymore so iced coffee it is i bought more creamer but i absolutely have been loving the Starbucks um, creamer, the caramel macchiato one. Um, I tried the white chocolate mocha one because you guys know your girl is a fan of the white chocolate mocha, but that one didn't really taste too well to me. I didn't really care for that one. I did care for the caramel macchiato creamer though, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I needed the coffee, so I did it, and I feel a little more awake now. I obviously don't look the part, but it's okay. It's just, it's the morning. It's all good. That's some good stuff. So, I think I'm gonna spend the time that I have here um, listening to music again. And then um, that's about it, actually. <laughs> also, sorry I didn't even, you know, finish filming yesterday. I honestly, I forgot. But we got our Olive Garden. We ordered it at like five something. And then we had to wait like an hour and a half to pick it up. So that was fun. We were starving ourselves for an hour more. Because Olive Garden was packed, and um, yeah, that was just the wait time. It was 6.30 that we had to pick up our food, and we ordered around 5, so hour and a half of waiting. That was great. But I think it was worth it in the end, because I got pretty full. I had a good meal. I had my raspberry lemonade, which is the best. If you don't get that at Olive Garden, what is wrong with you? That is the best drink. And then I got my fettuccine alfredo with extra sauce because, you know, they don't put that much sauce when it's to go. Um, and then got my breadsticks. Bomb as hell. Mmm. Oh, love the breadsticks. <laughs> you guys, like, you guys have no idea. I die for the freaking breadsticks at Olive Garden. They are just so good. Oh, I can eat like, oh, well, the most I can't really eat like a lot. So I'll just say like I'll eat like two, maybe three, most. But they're just, they're so good. And then when you dip it in the Alfredo sauce, mmm, that is so good. Oh man, it was, it's so good. <laughs> but yeah, and then after that, uh, that was pretty much it. Didn't do anything else after that. I mean, we went to Target, but I'm not gonna film at Target. <laughs> Who do I look like? <laughs> just kidding but yeah so there's a little catch up for you guys and here we are in the next day so yeah okay guys so it has obviously been a little while um so just to kind of catch you guys up on what has been going on in the last few hours that i haven't seen you guys deb and i brought home some breakfast from brandon's diner because we hadn't eaten obviously and then after that i came to my cave my little humble abode to um edit a video that had to go up today um completely crossed my mind that i hadn't edited this video and it also completely crossed my mind that it was wednesday which is when a video is supposed to go up at 10 in the morning so after I finished eating came to my room edited the video and then uploaded it so it went up like around 1 p.m. Um, which isn't too bad it was like three hours after it was supposed to go up um, 
It's okay though. It's okay. Because what matters is that it's up and it's still Wednesday. So I ain't that mad. So then after that video was uploaded, I went ahead and started editing for this video. And now that I am looking back on it, this video is pretty much all over the place. Especially because I keep forgetting to film what I'm doing. So apologies. While I was editing this video here, my lovely friend Danielle called me. So we were on the phone for a little while and uh, that's about it. So y'all are now caught up and it is now, what time is it? It is gonna be four, so that means Panther is almost ready to get picked up. I don't know if they're gonna call Debbie to let her know that he's ready or if, you know, we just gotta head over there. Um, but they said he was supposed to be picked up around 4 because I guess um, they were going to monitor him while he was on the anesthetic, is that what it's called? To make sure that, you know, he's okay and that nothing is wrong. So I believe Debbie's going to leave in a little bit. I might go with her, not too sure yet. And then I also had plans of filming another video today. So there's just a lot of um, YouTube work going on today and it makes me very excited because I feel productive. I feel like today has been a productive day, so I am very happy. Alrighty, so we're here at the animal clinic. Um, Debbie's waiting to get checked in because they have a limit of one person her check-in. Um, so right now, Debbie is just waiting outside like a little lost puppy. Debbie! Hi, Debbie! <laughs> we just want our panther, that's all. It's taking forever. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. it was. I was like, yeah, I know that dance now. <laughs> no, me panties. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Heavy, he's not eight pounds anymore. <laughs> he's so kicking me, though. He's probably all tarantado. Hello, baby. Okay, guys, so we are now home. Um, we've been home for the last few hours. Whoa, these bangs. Jesus Christ. Why did anyone tell me that they were this bad? Anyway, doesn't really matter at this point. So Panther's maintaining. Um, right now he has a cone on his head, um, but we bought him a small one, like not those big ass cones, but a good decent sized one. He's still kind of like iffy about it, but he's doing okay. Right now we just gotta watch him and make sure that, you know, he doesn't run around or he doesn't jump around because we don't want anything to cause his wound to open up or anything like that that's the update with that um but yeah that's basically gonna conclude today's vlog so thank you all so much for watching i really hope you all enjoyed it sorry it was kind of all over the place i am pretty much all over the place so it kind of makes sense um if you guys enjoyed this video then go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up i would really appreciate that go ahead and comment down some tips and tricks to kind of help us with this like whole recovery thing for his neuter all tips would be very helpful because we are first time cat owners so we're very new at this don't forget to follow me on instagram because when i'm not here i am over there i love you guys so much and i'll see you all in my next video bye